Today I'm here in Amsterdam and I wish I could say it's a beautiful day, but the truth is the weather is kind of mediocre. It's a little rainy, kind of cloudy, but even with those elements, there's still a certain charm and beauty to this city that is just unparalleled. Anyways, I'll be heading to a Michelin starred restaurant this evening. It's called Zoldering and they just earned their star this very year. They have an a la carte menu. And the truth is I don't know too much about the establishment, but it does have a star and I'm always willing to try a new place. I also don't have a reservation, but according to their website, they do accept walk-ins. So my plan is to show up early right when they open, cross my fingers and hope I get a spot. Anyways, let's head to Zoldering. Zoldering opened in 2019 in a charming and historic building that dates from the 1660s. The owners of the restaurant wanted to create an establishment that exudes the nostalgia of the old style Amsterdam cafes with a refreshing lack of pretentiousness. I thought that certainly came through as I found Zoldering's interior warm and inviting while the service proved to be attentive and knowledgeable and at the same time kind and courteous. The menu is a la carte and features modern Dutch and French inspired cuisine. Zoldering is also known for their wine selection so I ordered a 2001 glass of Closerie Imaginaire Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. For being offered at such an affordable price, I thought that this was a delicious wine with pleasant citrus flavors and an underlying mineral taste. It also paired spectacularly with my food. First up was the fresh bread and butter. It certainly was a solid offering and excited my palate for the food ahead. My first course was more of a snack. It was a zucchini flour in tempura with black olives and stuffed with fiore cheese. For such a simple dish, it was incredible. The flour was perfectly fried with a delicate but crispy texture and the melty cheese inside took it to a whole other level. I loved it. However, my dinner was about to get even better as my next course, the smoked deal and coco de pample with celery and chives was presented. The presentation of the food was exquisite. Each component of the dish stood out in a clean, beautiful, but minimalist manner. Flavor-wise, it even surpassed its appearance as the eel was expertly cooked and all of the elements came together to produce a simply stunning appetizer. The dish ended up being my favorite of the night. After finishing, my meal progressed to the main course of skate wing with bone marrow, zucchini, and green peppers. Once again, I got to consume another amazing dish. The fish was succulent and bursting with flavor while the silky broth coated it and lent another level of richness. The zucchini added a nice aspect of variation to round out another great course. Transitioning to dessert, I ordered two different cheeses. All of Zoldoring's offerings looked new to me, so I believe I ordered slices of the first two options listed on the menu. One was likely the pombled croton, while the other was the polk. I know, I probably mispronounced the hell out of those two words. But I enjoyed both cheeses immensely. For me, it was a real treat to have a cheese course, since they're not as commonly found in the US. And when I do find an American restaurant that offers a cheese plate, it's typically far more expensive and limited than Zoldering's offering. Finally, it was time for dessert. I went with the grilled pineapple with vanilla ice cream, coconut caramel, and pink peppercorns. Basically, there is grilled pineapple situated in a delicious pastry shell topped with caramel and ice cream. It was delicious and consisted of classic flavors, but I really enjoyed the sort of punch from the pink peppercorn. It was an element that gave the dessert an edge of uniqueness. Overall, my dinner at Zoldering was excellent. From the food, to the service, to the atmosphere, the meal ended up being one of the best I had in 2022. That was an absolutely fantastic dinner at Zoldering. I loved every single thing about it. All the food I had was great, but that smoked deal was on another level. Oh my God, was that good. And unlike the last Michelin star restaurant I went to, the service here was fantastic. On every single level, Zoldering is a winner. This evening was fantastic.